Hey guys, Mighty Matt here. Today I would like to show you guys a basic guide to the spirit. The spirit is one of the strongest killers in the game, and she can be hard to understand at first. Uh, it's important to understand how her phasing ability actually works. Uh, when you activate your phase, you become invisible to the survivors, and the survivors become invisible to you. The advantage you have though, is you can still see their scratch marks, which will help you track them down. It is important to understand the spirit will make an audible warning whooshing sound if she's approaching a survivor from outside the terror radius during her phase. And if the survivor is within the spirit's terror radius, then the survivor will not hear anything signaling she is phasing. This allows her to mind game loops and then chases quickly. Um, so what we're going to be running is uh, Sloppy Butcher to start. Just increases healing uh, speed. Uh, pairs very well with Nurse's Calling. Uh, you can see people healing from 28 meters away. And uh, then we got barbecue and chili. Are you able to see where survivors are after you hook someone? And this goes well with Pop Goes the Weasel. You can uh, regress one generator by 25% uh, after you hook someone. And these go very well together. And for our add ons, we got uh, our recovery speed and uh, movement speed. So, yeah, hope you enjoy. Okay, so we got Blood Lodge. Not the best map for uh, Killer in general, but uh, Spirit can actually kind of manage. Uh, so instantly I'm just going to use my Phase Walk to find the first survivor. Just to make distance. And this is one of the strengths of it. You can just get across the map very quickly. I don't even have the strongest add-ons on either. Just the basic brown one. So I get lucky and I actually find someone quite early. And uh, my abilities are just about to come back. So I can track her down now. So I activated it. And I can see where the scratches are. I'm listening for uh, where she's going. And I get her. And that's what you want to do with Spirit. You kind of want to use both visual and audio cues to try to help you in the chase. So the scratch marks and the grunts uh, of pain from the survivors. And footsteps even. So this person, I give a break, and then I do a little mind game on them, or I try to, and do a little quick phase, and I get him here. This is the first step. So I chase him down, and uh, at this point, I'm guessing. Uh, you have to guess with this spirit a lot of the time, with the phasing. But, I get her. Quite quickly, one gen's done. So I'm going to use my barbecue and uh, pop goes the weasel to try to apply more pressure after this hook. Uh, at this point I'm just trying to look for these gens uh, to see if there's any progress on them from earlier in the game. So there's not, so I phase walk and across the map to try to get uh, the next person because I know there's people over here with barbecue so and lucky enough I see this lorry up here so I'm gonna go after them up here I decide to phase I could have faked the phase but uh, I predicted it correctly once again I decide to phase here and you gotta be careful with the spirit here, because like I lose sight of the scratch marks for a second. And if you do, I think you should just drop out of phase and just see where the survivor is. But I get her down. And the whole idea of the spirit is mind games. Mind games, mind games, mind games. It is very hard for the it's impossible actually for the survivor to know if you're phasing or not. When you're Really close to them, at least. So I go after this person. He's going to hear my phasing sound because it came from the terror radius. And uh, I look for them quickly. I think I thought they went into this locker here, but it's okay they didn't. Um, so I, I just, you know, I'm trying to track them down. And uh, I see her there. So I decide to do a stand, standstill mind game. So I'm gonna stand still, tend to phase, see what she does. And she's staying there, so I'm gonna go hit her. And I get the hit easily. She runs off. Phase again to try to catch up to her, because this is what's key with the spirit. You can catch up to survivors so quickly. 
with the phase. That's generally why you want to get the first hit with the survivor is not a phase hit, if you can. And then they're going to get a sprint burst, and you catch up that way with your phase, predicting, uh, like following their scratch marks, listening for their grunts, and kind of predicting where they're going to go, and they're rooting. Because generally survivors want to go to pallets and all that, and windows, right? So, yeah. so I see everyone with barbecue here. And I'm going to go to the closest person, so I can try to force someone off the gens, the further gens. And they're here, so... Pop this first. I tried to write a little mind game there, but... She was just waiting at the pallet and just threw it instantly. That's fine, break it. And then I'll phase after her. Because she won't be able to hear uh, my phase, me phasing there. Because she was in the terror radius. So it's going to be very hard for her to know anything. So I got the hit there, and uh, my phase is just about to be, uh, get back. That gen finish, she's fine. I'm going to phase here and listen for her. And she double doubles back here, so I do as well, but she actually has good positioning here. I see the lorry coming there, so I kind of pivot and go for her. Get the hit. And she's running to a very bad part of the map, so I'm going to follow her. She doesn't want to go near Killer Shack. I fake the phase there again, but she ends up running off fine. I'm going to go apply pressure here, and this person doesn't know I'm coming. So I catch them off guard, get an easy hit. And I'll chase her, because I don't want to chase the Claudette, who might have decisive strike. So, once again, mind game. Fake it. And, and if they start to run off, then you can phase after them. But if I was to give you one general tip, is just to try to always fake it. Don't phase right away. Stop and wait at a pallet and let the survivor make the first move. And if they want to wait there a little longer, if they wait there, then you can phase after them. Sometimes they'll even come towards you. So I see the uh, people with barbecue here, and I'll go after them now. So they're healing. Well, I hear someone behind me, so I decide to kick the gen first, and then uh, commit to this person here. I was dead hard by her, but uh, short-lived, and I got her. So this person uh, takes an unnecessary hit there, so that's nice for us. So now, barbecue. I can get back there very, very quickly. So those people healing with barbecue, or follow this Claudette, who I just hit. So I decided to do that. And I hear her to the left, so I go for her. And she's down. And she's dead on hook. So I actually hear there's another person here. Uh, I get the hit here. And I don't really have to worry about those people. They're just unhooked there. So I commit to this person. Once again, I'm not phasing right away. Looks like she had sprint burst or something there. So she gets a little distance. Once again, I try to phase. She actually has an insta heal here. So she, uh, she gets away here. Fine. So this is when I decide to go back to this generator here and pressure these people who I think are around here. I probably could have gone after the lorry, but I chose not to. So a little red glow, glow mine game here. Uh, nice dead hard by her. So I uh, I fake going one way and go back the other way. And it's very hard uh, with the spirit, uh, like playing against the spirit to know. Because of passive phasing and, uh, and yeah. Because me being behind that rock there, she might have thought I was phasing. So she was kind of trying to be unpredictable. We got her. So I quickly hook her. And I can see her on barbe uh, person with barbecue over here, so I head back. 
Try to pop it before it's done. Even though it, at this point it doesn't matter that much. Two people are dead. We get the hit there and pop it. And I actually heard someone else on the way over here, so. I go for this person. Who unfortunately had sprint burst, but that's okay. This is where the, the spirit's phase can just counter anything like that. So I get her. Easy. Uh, hook her, and she's in second hook. So I decide to head over here because the lorry, uh, the other lorry, uh, was heading this direction. So. Pick that, and at this point, I kind of just guess where she is, and I guess right. <laughs> so, I got her. Nice way, nice way to finish it off there. But yeah, with the spirit, you just have to keep mind gaming everything. Just mind game, mind game, mind game. Just pretend to phase, phase, mix it up, react to how the survivors are playing. You know, let's just go from there, just adapt to how they're playing. We got the two pip here, so pretty easy. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you want to like, comment, subscribe, it'd be great, and have a nice day.